in her song, I Shake It Off. I Shake It Off, Taylor Swift said as much. And oh, were her fans faithful. Seismologists reported that last weekend's Taylor Swift performance in downtown Seattle caused the ground to shake so violently that it generated signals on a nearby seismometer nearly similar to a magnitude 2.3 earthquake. Seismologist Maus Ryush of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, which keeps track of seismic activity in the Pacific Northwest, said, It's definitely the biggest concert we've had in a while. We're talking about 70,000 people along with all the concert-related music and gear. I... The so-called Swift Quake recorded a maximum ground acceleration of roughly 0.11 meters per second squared, said Jackie Kaplan Auerbach, a seismologist at Western Washington University. Seismologists use acceleration to measure ground vibrations, which are then converted to the more conventional Richter scale, the common measurement for earthquakes. Seismometers can detect many kinds of ground vibrations, including those caused by autos and stampeding cattle. But the Swift Quake's size has been compared to the pro football beast Quake of 2011. The Seattle Seahawks beast mode rushing back Marshawn Lynch scored a game-winning touchdown in the final seconds, setting off the seismic activity. According to Ryush of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, the activity at the time was quite similar to an earthquake with a magnitude of 2.0. The same seismic station, which is close to Lumen Field, captured the Swift Quake on film. Taylor Swift performed two concerts on the nights of July 22 and 23, and the readings continued throughout each performance. According to Kaplan Auerbach, the ground shook more than twice as hard than it did during the Seahawks game in 2011. The Richter scale, which is logarithmic, shows a twofold difference despite the fact that this was 0.3 magnitude stronger than in 2011. Seismologists concluded that the music played by the concert sound system and Taylor Swift's followers, also referred to as Swifties, dancing along to it were the most likely causes. The pop superstar is presently four months into her 52-date Eras tour, which has garnered enormous throngs of Swifties eager to hear her perform songs from her 10 studio albums. About 70,000 people attended her debut performance in Arizona in March. The cost of tickets for her event in Santa Clara on Friday was up to $20,000 according to Vivid Seats, a secondary ticket marketplace. According to Ryush, the seismometer data from the two consecutive concerts in Seattle showed a pattern that was virtually same, indicating that the sets were also substantially identical. That was surprising to me, that we're able to see something so coherent, she said. One was offset by about 26 minutes because it was late. Hmm. The shaking at both shows reached a peak twice, first around 8.30 p.m., and the second around 10.30 p.m m according to data shared with the new york times it was not immediately clear which taylor swift songs caused the peaks Beside to shake it off the set list included love story bad blood and i hero all songs guaranteed to get swifties on their feet while the concerts shook the ground exceptionally hard kaplan auerbach said it is important to understand that seismometers pick up signals from anything that shakes the ground including cars, trains, and even wind. Nor are Taylor Swift's earth-shaking abilities unique to the music world. The seismometer also recorded signals when the week made at Lumen Field on Aug. 25, 2022, Kaplan Auerbach said, though they were not as strong. Beyonce will be playing there on set. 14, she said. I'll be looking at that for sure. E. As for Ryush, she was encouraged by the public attention. Maybe there's some young Swifties out there that will someday become seismologists or earth scientists, she said. That would be a real happy ending. I...